Greetings, friends of typography. Did you know that web browsers and many design applications now support vector and bitmap color fonts? The OpenType specifications now include four distinct color font solutions that promise endless possibilities for font users. Curious to learn more? Then watch this video to learn all you need to know about these color font formats, including how to use them, where they are supported and what the pros and cons of each format are. The glyphs inside most of the digital fonts we used over the course of the last three decades are defined as vector outlines. That's what font formats such as PostScript Type 1, TrueType and OpenType required for a long time. Type designers usually had no other options. It was not possible to define colors, transparencies or to embed bitmap images. Defining font formats in such a limiting way wasn't a surprise though. It was just a continuation of preceding typesetting techniques. Letterpress letters have a raised surface, the typeface, that is inked in usually one color and photo typesetting fonts define the character shapes as transparent areas on photo negatives. Until recently, the only way to allow multiple colors across all these techniques was to use multiple fonts, which had to be placed or printed on top of each other. That's fine for occasional display uses, but doesn't work well for longer texts or a digital use, where the text flow is not fixed and is done on the reader's device. Alternative solutions like FontLab's PhotoFont format were developed in the past, but they didn't catch on. The revived interest to create color fonts can be traced back to the introduction of emojis on Apple's operating systems. Apple developed a system to show emojis as a bitmap font, which was a proprietary solution at the time. As a result, other software makers had to come up with alternative ways to show their emojis. In the end, no less than four different color font formats were proposed and eventually included in the OpenType specifications. Apple's solution was to use a so-called standard bitmap graphics table, which stores bitmap images in one or multiple sizes. Google proposed a similar solution using two tables inside the fonts for their operating system Android and other software applications that use the FreeType render engine. Both technologies are mentioned here mainly for the sake of completeness. While these formats are a proper solution for companies like Apple and Google to show emojis within their operating systems, it doesn't look like these formats will be relevant to most font users. A color font solution that all web designers need to know is the Color CPAL format. It's the ideal format for color fonts on the web. The format was developed by Microsoft. Fonts in this format can work as regular open type fonts, but they contain two additional tables, a color table containing vector glyphs and a CPAL table containing color palettes. With a color CPAL font, Type designers can create multiple vector shapes as part of one glyph and assign these shapes to one of the color layers in the font. The number of colors can be chosen freely based on the design of the font. Fonts in this format contain at least one color palette, but multiple predefined color palettes are supported as well. Color CPAL fonts can only contain vector shapes. As such, their file size is rather small and they work well as web fonts. All major browsers already support the color CPAL format. It's also worth mentioning that these fonts are backwards compatible. An app without dedicated support for the format can still use the fonts as regular open type font with one color, so it is already safe to use these fonts on the web. Fonts in the color CPAL format are embedded just like regular web fonts. They do not even have a dedicated file suffix. By default, the first color palette defined in the font will be used, but as you can see here, web designers can choose among the included color palettes. On top of that, web designers can also override one or multiple colors from the default color palettes. For more code examples, please check out the online course about color fonts in the Typography Guru Academy. While fonts in the color CPAL format already work well as web fonts, there is no broad support yet among desktop applications. We will have to wait and see if that changes in the future. For now, 
it looks like the fourth color font solution is taking the lead when it comes to desktop color fonts. Scalable Vector Graphics is an XML-based vector image format for defining two-dimensional graphics, having support for interactivity and animation. The SVG specification is an open standard developed by the World Wide Web Consortium since 1999. OpenType SVG is a font format proposed by Adobe and Mozilla where the individual glyphs of a font consist of SVG graphics. OpenType SVG fonts are not yet supported in all web browsers, but more and more desktop design applications support the format. For example, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Quark Express, Sketch, Affinity Designer, and PaintNet. And with OpenType SVG being part of the OpenType specifications, it is likely that more and more apps will add support in the future. In addition, hundreds of commercial fonts are already available in this format. The usage of an OpenType SVG font is pretty straightforward. As long as your operating system and the apps you want to use support the format, you install and select the fonts like any other OpenType font. The glyphs can contain both vector and bitmap elements. Transparencies are possible and even animations. But there are downsides as well. The fonts usually cannot be styled like regular fonts since the glyphs just deliver predefined SVG graphics. It's also not possible to create variable fonts with SVG outlines or to add font hinting for better screen rendering. As a result, most OpenType SVG fonts are display fonts. If you want to try out SVG fonts on your own desktop computer, head over to typography.guru. We are currently offering a freestyle from a commercial color font package to supporters of our platform. To sum up, here are the main differences among the four color font formats presented as a table. At the moment, Color CPAL fonts are the best choice for web use, and OpenType SVG fonts work well in desktop design applications. And that's it for this episode.